Welcome everyone. We're waiting for everyone to get here. This is a live stream with a live audience. We chat in the beginning, waiting for everyone to come in. Please fast forward if you're not um, wanting to wait for that part. It takes a few minutes for people to come in. Hey, Joycey. Hey, Wendy. How are you guys? Hey, Norma. Hey, Dot. Hi, Eileen. Oh, you changed your picture, Eileen. Hi, Fiona. Yeah, like the, I saw I just saw your giant lunch bags. <laughs> I didn't even know that they had lunch bags that big. <laughs> Hi, cat. That's right, you'll have more you have more room for art that way with them being bigger, right? It just gives you more room to do things. Hopefully, uh, and a file folder should still be big enough uh, to make a cover with, so you'll just have a bigger one. Hi Lena. Hi Christy. Hi Vicky. Hey, CB. Ah, on your way to Hobby Lobby right now? Ooh. Anything you want or looking for in particular or just looking? Hi, Mon. Hi, Judy. Yeah, I thought we'd work out a paint, play, and explore. I was going through the book trying to figure out what I could do because Hobby's driving and I'm in chat on my phone. <laughs> well, thanks for chatting with us on your way there. It was fun, Kat, her Vaughn's stream today. I was trying to figure out which one I wanted to do because a lot of these are mostly making um, marks, papers, and um, I wasn't really sure if, how that would go over if anyone would want to just make a messy art page or not. Um, they're made. Her she makes a lot of art um, with marks papers and then turns those into other pieces of art is kind of her style and I wasn't sure about going on here and just doing that or not I'm certainly not doing the celery one ever again um you know and, and most of the things I saw in here are things we already know about you you know all of you already know so I decided on try this this technique. Um, I can't pronounce it. <laughs> oh, thanks, Eileen. You'll tell me if I'm doing it wrong. What would I do without you? <laughs> um, I thought I'd work on this. Uh, wood panel. This is what it's called. Don't make me, if I pronounce it, I'm sure I'm going to get it wrong. Paradidolia. I don't have any idea, but all I know is this is something that I'm always doing and I know Joycey does. Hi, Kimberly. Where we're always seeing images and within our work and that's kind of what this is. The jump start of it is you basically wait and see what appears and then kind of build your piece around it. 
So I'm going to, while everyone's coming in, I'm going to gesso uh, my board because I have to put clear gesso on it, dry it, or, or dry it, sand it, and then more clear gesso is the first step. So Oops, I'm already got gesso on my book. So we'll get started with that while well, everybody's still coming in. Hey, Mitzi. I had these wood panels left over from another class I took a long time ago. So I was like, Kubis. I think. I can't, I don't, she didn't actually say what size, but that she was working on, but I had a smaller size too, but I opted for this size. Let's see, pining patterns where none exist, or they say, thank you, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's it. That's what that means. That's what that word means. <laughs> hey, Julie. So it took me a few minutes to gather my supplies together for it. So I'd be somewhat prepared. But I say somewhat because I usually end up having to run off to get something. Yeah, it was fun. And Con Body In was just playing away. She was mixing colors and and doing her own thing. She had it towards the end, you know, when she wasn't doing the transfers. She was jelly fighting away. So I guess maybe uh, to, on Tuesday, Kathy can um, talk to us about what she did in her art classes she's taken today and tomorrow, hopefully. Yee! <laughs> yep, alcohol inks too. Yep, and acrylic inks. So you know what that means? Stain fingers, stain nails, stain cuticles. That's exactly what that means. I'll be a mess again. Look at my clean hands now. They won't be clean for long. <laughs> so the, the first step is we're going to, I guess, is gesso it. And we got to sand it. Then add a second coat. <laughs> Hi, Jeannie. Thanks for making the uh, post about um, when everybody's classes are, because that's really helped uh, our, our everybody's streams. Because uh, Devin, if you see her come in the chat later. She was actually um, uh, private messaging me, I think, on Instagram, asking me if there was a place where there's a list of the streamers and the streamer times. And I said, I thought that we, uh, Jean had it, but I wasn't sure. But now I can uh, send her to your blog. So if you see Devin come in, hey, Shauna, Jeannie, maybe you could... You could uh, put up your blog. Actually, I, I have it somewhere. Or maybe Eileen can retrieve it and post your log link for Devin because actually she was asking me about that. She wanted the uh, list of streamers and 
times and stuff. Has anyone, uh, has anyone posted their uh, journaling by the fives? Like, I don't know if I saw anyone posting those or not. I have not posted mine myself, but I didn't know if anyone who played along last Tuesday or this past Tuesday did or not. I dropped my cat. Where'd it go? Darn it. I already dropping stuff. I just started. <laughs> God. It's my baby wipes. Yeah, it is a good help, especially if you don't go to all of them or if you're new to the group and following us. Um, you know, I think that it's nice to have that. You're gluing a paper over foil to a seat. Oh, thanks, Eileen. I appreciate that. So there's Jeannie's blog. So she's been uh, asking uh, times and stuff and making a list for everybody of her streamers. So if you click on that, you'll be able to find them. If you want to, you know, follow any more of uh, other groups of you know, friends that I follow or we follow. Oh, homemade canvases. Um, I'm assuming she did since we all told her on Twitter, you know, the different times and stuff. Haven't checked it actually. Yeah, so Jeannie said anyone who wants to post their uh, links. And times that they stream, let you know, so I did to the list. Okay, so that's dry. Now, once your panel is dry, and then we have to sand it again. Okay. And actually, like just by like doing that layer gesso sanding and then doing another layer gesso, there's already um you can already see some of the gesso on there and some of the gesso not on there. So you can kind of see there's already like ridges. So That will give us uh, texture when we add the ink. Okay, so now we add clean water spray bottle, mist the entire surface till the water pools, and then we're gonna put on some ink, boot around with using a dropper, heavy low paintbrush, or dead water surface or panel. While the water on the panel is still wet, add several more drops, pigment moves, shifts organically. 
high flow acrylic paint will work. Similar step when using, you may need to remiss the surface and apply tilt the canvas for more movement, rocking, water mixture, allowing the color across the wood panel, lay the panel flat and let it dry thoroughly. And then we're going to do the wood burning tool. And background texture with marks using the wood burning tool. After that. Okay, so ink and water. And I'm going to grab paper towels now. <laughs> I'm going to set my book aside. Ooh, it's already got stuff on it. I can feel it. I'm sanding. All right. I'm just going to throw some paper towels down here to catch it. Oh, hi, buttons. <laughs> I called 911. <laughs> All right, so next we're going to wet the wood panel here. So to wet it a lot. All right, and we're going to put some ink on it. She used a purpley color. Let's see. I have anything like that. I don't want to use luminous. Hold on. I have it. This one. Let's see. I mean, it's a. Yeah, I definitely don't have like, like a magenta. Yeah, it's more of a magenta or something. Hmm. May not be able to match her because I don't. I don't have that particular. I have a floor. I have a pearlescent that's close to that, but I don't think I have a non shiny purpley one I have a blue green and that's the I think blue green all the millions of weeks I own and I don't have that color um I wish I hate that where I can't just go along with it and have the same color. It makes it easy. Then I could just use whatever pink color she used to do. And then I don't have to think about it. I could be lazy. I like being lazy. There we go. I found an indigo. Uh, I found an indigo. Hers is more pink. I don't know if it's more like this. I have this one. This might be as close as I have to it. We'll try this one. I don't have any purples, apparently. At least in the, the uh, liquid tax or F and W's. Yes, that's that's who right who we're doing the book is Ray. Um, the book there it is. We're working out of paint, play, and explore. And 
Ray Miskin. I can't pronounce her name either. That's what we're working out. All right, so now we're going to do is we're going to move it around. Let's hope we see some images. As we're going to have to make some if we don't. <laughs> see, I'm already getting pink. Sorry, rolling off on me. Don't look fine. I'm going to get messy. I don't see anything that literally all I see is a whole bunch of swishy stuff. Hopefully when it dries, we'll see something. I dilute it too much and pour some of this off. I'm going to have very purpley towels. me i'm using too much nah that never happens eileen i never use too much product what are you talking about i'm super conservative <laughs> it all right so next thing we're supposed to do just shift it around and she has some board showing where i don't have a lot of board showing so i feel like i need to wipe it back a little bit Or she definitely did not have the whole board covered. So I'm going to kind of wipe it back a little bit. Mm-mm. I never, ever, ever use too much product. Just saying. Okay. I already see an image. See if I can kind of work on towards it. I'm going to help it along. That's it. it. That's it. The papers and the boards are too small. Lena knows. That's exactly it. I'm 
I'm just gonna have him helping you along. Where's my brushes? I need a brush. It'd be way easier if I had a brush. I'm just gonna push it around here. Does anyone see it? <laughs> a smash lamb, a buffalo and cow. <laughs> it's a purple elephant. That's right. Wendy sees it. Ding, 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 ding. Wendy wins. It's a purple elephant. Did you all see its nose coming down? Right here, look, there's a glare. It's an elephant. There's its eye. There's its trunk. <laughs> She's right. The purple elephant. Hello. As soon as I saw the hat in the trunk, I was like, I know what this is. Okay, I gotta let this dry, man. A parrot elephant. <laughs> yeah, a parrot elephant. That's it. I'll show you a few of my purchases <laughs> while I let this dry a minute. And then we'll go in with the wood, wood, a wood tool and do some wood burning. So a few of the things that I picked up this week from Tuesday mornings. Hey, Janet. Uh, I found this the Tuesday mornings this week. This is um, the Kelly Creates. It has a bunch of fine lighter pens and markers. And look, Janet, a ruler. Um, yeah, ruler, erasers, pens. This is in the, I like the eraser. Um, I got this the Tuesday mornings. And uh, that was 10. I got this a Tuesday mornings, right? Yeah, you would like this because it has all the little fine, um, fine pens and different sizes and um, calligraphy. Yeah, two calligraphy pens and a brush. And I like the giant eraser. I'm gonna leave that out because that could be handy all the times. Um, I got this Kelly Create stamp set. This is also uh, a Tuesday mornings. That's what's in it, which I love. Uh, love this. It's got Mand mandalas. Yeah, it is, and it's only two twenty nine. So. And when we get done, I might be able to stamp some of them on my elephant. So I may have to do that. Um, I found this, which is by Crafters Companion. Um, this one is a just a sunflower. These are really more for card making, where it says you are amazing. This is more of a card maker stamp, but I do love sunflowers. Um, there was, I did see the Reese there. I did see this flower. I didn't see that one. And I didn't see this one. Also, I would have bought it with the butterflies. But I'll take that back. I, I see, no, this one's different. And this is another one I found. 
which is really awesome. Supposedly this has a die cutting set you can get with it. It has, um, says it's Gemini and it has, I mean, I like this because I could color them in. It's really a big set. I mean, if you look like, see this one is, you can see the size of this being small and it's bigger than my hand. Here's Tim Holtz scissors. It's a big set and I like it just because, I mean, you could color all this in really easy. And then there's little flowers, little butterflies. Again, this might be more of a card making set with saying hello and you are amazing. Um, but with the butterflies and that, this totally can be used in mixed media too. So this was $349, normally $795. So I found that there. And I also got a couple of uh, Vicky Booten um, brushes. I don't remember how much they were. They were like maybe three dollars. I also found this at Tuesday mornings. Um, this is a uh, rose gold glaze. Hold on, get my camera to focus. Yeah, is it Gemini Machine, Eileen? I didn't even know. <laughs> you are amazing on your feast. So, yeah, there's that. And it was $2.99, normally $6. It's very, it's very pretty. And I can't get my camera to focus. There. Super pretty. If we can, I know I love Tuesday. Oh, the Gemini is a die cutter. I love Tuesday mornings. I love getting our supplies at such a reasonable price. Yuri went to Tuesday mornings. Wednesday, Wendy, did you find anything? I also, I also got this. Vicky boot and texture paste, but I'm gonna hold it up. So my camera focuses, just give it one second. It'll get it in a minute, there. Iridescent glitter paste. It's really big, chunky. A big chunky glitter paste, $2.99, normally six. So yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like big chunky sparkles. Hold on. Go ahead and get this peeled back. Talking about glitter city the whole of the camera is like woo, yeah chunky so yeah chunky glitter cool right oh that would be neat on nails and um what else i get i get that i get that i got Oh yeah, I got these. I got some um, dollar ramp, whatever this is, brownie uh, iridescent paint, metallic paint. So I got they had I had red. Um, I got pink blush and ugh. Hold on, stuck in my little tin. And I got metallic blue. They're all $2.29, normally $9. And turquoise. 
So two twenty nine versus nine dollars. So I got those. And I also got they had a bunch of their paint. And this is a uh, dollar ninety nine, normally six fifty. And so I got a bunch of uh, the acrylic paints. And I think that was it. I just we got a lot of uh, I got a lot of paint. Oh, and paint brushes. I got a bag of. Um, just a bag of paint brushes. Normally twenty five ninety nine for four ninety nine and you get like um a bunch of brushes you can wrap up. It's usually just nice to have some brushes you don't have to really worry about. You know what I mean? Like I was uh watching the Ray Ray oh I can't pronounce her name. Ray Mazigan <laughs> help. Uh, I, I have one of her classes on Jeannie Oliver, and she, when she does a lot of her papers, she really like scratches into her paints and like really like bends up her brushes. So she like really goes at it. And so, like, I figured um, she uses this type of brush. So I got a big pack of these to take. I watched, finally watched all the videos. And um, <laughs> there you go, Vaughn. <laughs> and I got these. So, I mean, there's like 25 paint brushes in here for $4.99. Gold, whatever that is, Taclon, hog bristle, and natural hair. So they're they're pretty good brushes. I mean, they're not like they're probably not. The, they're definitely not uber expensive, but they're not cheap either. Kind of in the middle. But she really like goes a number on her pages with her brushes and so i was like okay i need like a bunch of these drier brushes i can rough up and not worry about so i was glad i actually happened to find that let's see still wet i'm gonna dry it here in one second because it's gonna be wet forever i think <laughs> um i could i wanted to yeah, our Tuesday mornings, I was talking to them how um, ours is a little bit, you know, has a lot of art supplies compared to other Tuesday mornings. And the lady said that, yeah, they're, they um, they sell a lot. They were selling a lot of, of art supplies um, at their particular location or whatever. It's got a really big, uh, elephants do a big feet. Definitely don't look like that. Um Anyway, she said that's why they carry, that's why they carry the, um, uh, a lot of art supplies is because a lot were sold at their particular store. So they increased their art section because of how many sales they had. And I was like, that's because of me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, exactly, CV. I was like, that's because of me. I know it. So we did the journaling by fives on Tuesday. If you're interested in seeing that video and you are unaware of it, I mentioned it at the end of my last stream. It's at uh, Kathy Kberg Kberg's YouTube channel, which is Hangout and Art. And we did this on Tuesday. Uh, eight of us on camera. Some of us not on camera. Um, we did the JB fives by Shannon Green. And here I just made notes of what it is, who did it, Kathy, Lena, Zandra, Vicki, Beth, Joycey, Janet, and then Jean um, was, was you know, taking care of the timer and everything for us. And um, I have not worked on it since then, but I'm gonna do just a quick flip um, of what I did. I used one of, I can't remember if that was mine or Norma's print. I don't remember. Um, 
And so there's that page. I basically did, I don't want, I'm trying not to lay it in my elephant. That's why it's so close to the camera. Um, I basically did an art theme and talking about uh, basically um, about having, you know, my theme was art, obviously, but just keeping, these are quotes from successful women and their, uh, she wants me to lay it flat. Like I moved my elephant. Okay. I moved my elephant. Okay. Yeah, oh, we, you were watching, Judy. Because I couldn't, like, watch chat, really, until, like, in between the sessions, I wasn't even sure who came. I was flying. woo -hoo. So it was fun. I decided to take a bunch of quotes from art, uh, other artists, women, and, um, and, and attach them to it. And um, like I said, I haven't worked on it since then. But this is what I did. I was really happy with it because, I mean, you're, I kind of had it planned out before I started with, like, the theme and the quotes and stuff. But still, once you're putting it together, it, it did change slightly as I was throwing it together. So, and um, so I need to go back and do a little maybe or I'm gonna leave it. I kind of decided trying to decide where I was going to go in and, and doctor on it or leave it. And that was part of the reason why I haven't done anything either. Oh I know the matte medium is I mean I had stickage. I did use a glue stick for the words uh, the quotes, but yeah, I did use that medium for the rest because I felt like it, it, I would have to gone back and do that anyway. Yeah, it was a sticky mess. When it was the matte medium and the paint were sticking to the wax paper really bad. I even found a image with a desk and like, uh, like a solar system wallpaper to go with like the moon. So I was, and then I found circle. This is all uh, Dina Wakely tissue paper. Thanks, Sharon. Yeah, I think so too, CB. For the most part, I think they're done. So that's why I think I'm just going to leave it. This one, like, it, all everyone's was so different. And like this one, where the, when I was attempting the jelly transfers, like Vaughn did today. These were the ones that I did and I'm more success with words than I did images. These were those. And, um, and then after I realized I could make them into uh, on the fly, I was like, thinking, I thought all oh, these could become flower pots and that was not my original plan. So it was interesting that where you have a plan and then once you start working, which is kind of what the principle of this board is, your plan can turn into something else because you feel, see something or feel inspired that's going to, ch that changes it. Thanks, Buttons. Oh, thank you, Vicki. That was really sweet. <laughs> I didn't use the 40 page journal. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this one I had like, eh, eh. yeah, I had even had, and I had the, the page in here just completely had to rip out. Yeah, the word transfers. I did, yeah, remember I did it on, and that was my most successful ones were, were the words over the actual, because the, but the words were black and white, like, Norma had said that you are better off to use black and white images. And so then I think that's why I had so much success with the words was because of the fact that, uh, otherwise, was because the words are black and white. Simple as that. So I think that's why these turned out so well. And the one I think, oh yeah, and these, this was also, now this one, 
the words came on it and part of the images and there is something else in here came through but bits and pieces came through on this one and it turned out really cool even and i like that the, these words came out white um i don't remember if they were white i think this one actually might have been mine and i think the other and i think these might have been mine norma will know for sure like if they were hers or not so i think they were actually were mine but like i said compared to norma's like that was one that i had a girl here but she was really faded you could barely see her and then like that one was one of my better ones but i think i did like 80 of these it, it, seriously i mean it, it takes forever to actually <laughs> Ooh, i gotta fix this because it's like he's going to the bathroom okay <laughs> yeah i'm like you can see i picked my thing up moved it <laughs> it's like he's going to the bathroom Hold on. <laughs> we don't want an outfit that's going to the bathroom. Okay, let me try this. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 a little too graphic, right? <laughs> too much detail. Now, when I do when I do the wood burning tool, I can tell it's something there. We'll, we'll move on. I'll do um, may I wood burn like uh, around like this like around the shape of his ears or something, and then maybe like a like a, a like a walking path. a bucket <laughs> boy this will let this lay here and dry I mean it take forever I mean, partly because you have the, the clear gesso down. I mean, it's not going to exactly, um, you know, soak in easily. all right so we're gonna try the wood burning tool it's just kind of on and then there is no switch so i'm just gonna i'm not gonna touch it to find out it's hot like tom <laughs> let's see if it's hot well it's going <laughs> he's asking what it is it's going to be an elephant. This is a technique. <laughs> I know it's hard to figure out what it is at this point. This is a technique out of uh, paint, play, and explore. And this is what we're doing. And is this is the method. And you basically are putting inks on this uh, gessoed board that's sandpapered. You're moving them around. 
and then you uh, look for images within the ink blobs and create something with it. And for me, I saw the elephant and then went with it. So next thing is number five, we're gonna add wood burning tool and we're gonna add markings on it. And then after that, we're going to, num let's see, number six is to, let's see, rotate the panel, da, 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 da. Okay, let's talk about discovering your, okay, then I take the white china marker and go in and start drawing my elephant. And then after that, I'm going to use some more acrylic inks and fill in some colors around it. Okay, the, now we're going to paint over it. Now we're going to sand it. Then we're going to use the alcohol inks, I think, after that. Oh, sorry. A step back. This should be interesting. So then we're going to yep, use the alcohol inks and some gel pens and some paint and et cetera, et cetera. It's going to be cool. It's going to be cool. Let's see if this is hot. This part's still wet, so I'm going to stay away from that area. Just see. I'm assuming it's hot. And I want to touch it and find out it's not. Or it is, I should say. It's not working yet, so it may not be hot. Hold on. Oh, it might be. Where is it? Oh, no. Hold on. I'm stupid. I haven't used this in forever. So now it's on. Now it's going to actually get hot. Sorry. I have not used I've barely used The last person to use this was my daughter. And... And that was a long time ago. She made a, um, like a, took, bought a piece of wood and um, it looked, you know, with the rough actual tree, you know, I mean, you buy them and play, you know, like it looks like a, a tray or coast, like a tray. And she carved in a, a thing for one of her boyfriends. That was forever ago. And I think that was the last time we used it. Or she used it. I didn't do that, obviously. So. Anyway, why is heating up? It shouldn't I don't think it takes very long to heat up. So, ow! Nope, it don't take long to heat up. <laughs> no, there's no light. So if you put your hand anywhere near that, you'll know it's hot. <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's hot. Eileen was afraid of this. I'd say that, that my panel's still wet too, so this part is sure is how hot, although I don't see anything happening on the wood exactly. The top part's hotter, and you know what? And that hurt. So I heat up a little bit more. I'm starting to get a few marks. Like it, if I touched it right there, because so I went like, yeah, the tip might not be hot enough. <laughs> oh, you would burn down the house. You need a full blast for wood. What does that mean? Hold on. That is that a part you add to it? We look. these little tool things but if I when you look at her um, if you look at what she did she just used the tip and just gouge it with like straight lines right the last time um, let's see I I gouged, I gouged the, um, 
Tim Holtz Distress Oxide Bottle with my scissors. And then I had um, that everywhere. Let me lower my camera. And then I had a mess from that. And that was like two, I, was, I mean, that literally, I think, was like two seconds into my stream. I gouged that bottle. Yeah, my, I'm always doing something I shouldn't be doing. I guess I never thought of myself as being kind of klutzy, but maybe I am. Oh. What's 90 degrees? Like this? And slow. You've done wood burning too, Eileen. It's smoking, I can tell you that. You see the brown marks? It's leaving. Yeah, it's definitely it's smoking and it's leaving brown marks. So it definitely is burning it. I know I have a hard time doing uh, doing it slow. I don't remember why I bought this tool exactly, what I was planning on burning or doing with it, but I've, kind of, I've used it a handful of times, so as you can see, I'm definitely no expert. But glad I have it, as I couldn't have done this technique. Not as much of it. Oh, well. Eileen's done everything. I think Vicky has too, to be honest. Vicky's done a lot, and Eileen has done a lot. Didn't Shauna, didn't she sell, didn't she like give away or a, a heat tool? Because she, I thought she had a wood burning tool that she. And she was going through her stuff to get the fibs. So she must have used it at some point. So I think I remember her giving that away. Can you see it's smoking? It's totally smoking. I know she only did little marks, but I'm just doing, I'm just making a road or a little path for shadows. I don't know. So I know mine's an elephant. I don't, when she was doing hers, I don't know if she knew what she was making at the time when she was making her marks. Oh, you still have yours? A bigger tip would be nice. I should probably look into that, CB. Yeah, this is a very, um, like a pen nib, um, a pen nib. So that would be nice to have. The other ones that are had the attached are like flat, like flat things, more like probably for melting wax or something, but it's definitely not for etching. It's looking kind of cool though. I'm not minding it. Let's go up in here. So we're going to go like a. Let's 
feel like this ear somewhere around here. Hi, baby. The dog's down at my feet here. He's licking my leg. This is fun. I don't mind this at all. Not like you get to burn your art piece <laughs> every day. <laughs> I'm like, this is kind of fun. Candle. <laughs> you burn chiffon? Wow. I said, you guys have done like, you guys have done so many awesome things ever like i think like you know this is like maybe something that one of you haven't done before think again think again okay i'm gonna put some x's and o's up here because i do do love elephants I why i saw the elephant Lena painted me a mama elephant and a baby elephant. Can I do it in a curved manner? Maybe. Yeah, everyone, if you have a chance to use a, uh, get a wood panel, they sell these at like Hobby Lobby. And like they were on sale this week, 50% off. They're, it's their brand, Master's Touch or whatever. If you have a wood burning tool, you can do this. This is really fun. I mean, why not? I'll try anything once in art. And if I like it or not, but I will try it. I'm going to unplug this and move it. Cause that kind of burnt me a little bit. See? No, I didn't. Oh, that's actually the right. Oh, that's not burnt. That's the fun stuff. Okay. It hurt. But I'm not hurt. Okay, now move this into the other room so I don't burn myself. For real. Okay. But yeah, that's fun. It's kind of therapeutic. Just a burn and carve in it. I put X's and O's. It's fun you, because it's yours. You can do whatever you want with it. <laughs> a little bit. There's a lot of it. Yes. I maybe did a little extra. Now, I want you to see this. Like, you know where I did the gesso in the beginning? Then I sanded it. Then I did a layer of gesso. And then I sanded it. And then we start with the inks, and then you can see where it replied. Yeah, it's cool. In it. And where I applied, where you applied the inks, you can see all the scratches in the sandpaper from the first layers of gesso and that, that we did. And all the scratches show up through the inks. Pretty neat. Plus all the little grooves we just did. Okay. 
sorry, I raised this up a minute. Okay, so, okay, now we're going to take the white china pencil and we're just going to do a little bit of the details. And then we're going to add some more inks if we want different colors around. And then I think after that, we trace the elephant in black. Ooh, we're going to cover it all up. We're going to add the inks, and then we're going to cover it all up. Wow, oh, that's right. Okay. Okie dokie. All right, so it's kind of going to go like that. His eye's going to be like here. Obviously, there's his trunk. His That's his mouth. Not to maybe work on adding a little bit here. See, I guess that could be his mouth. Where maybe, actually, uh, that could be his mouth where he's going down and he's like feeding himself here. Maybe that could be his mouth. I want to trace it in black as well. I am not looking at a photo. If anyone wants to say it, it does not look like an elephant. This is an elephant from an ink blob. This is an imperfect elephant. <laughs> I don't care. Okay. It's just for fun. I like, um, I enjoy looking for, I guess mine, there's one is the small eared elephant. There's an Asian elephant and another kind. Mine is the big eared one. I can't remember the names. There's one elephant that has the small ears and one elephant that has the large ears. And I, but I don't remember anything else. I should, since I love elephants. Um, let me get some more inks. So we were kids. I was a kid. I say we, meaning my. I was thinking of my brother. Um, <laughs> a prehistoric elephant. I like it. It's a mammoth. It's a mammoth. <laughs> yeah, Asian and African, there is a difference. One has little ears and one has big ears. That is right, Judy. I don't know. I can't remember which is it, but I know one one has smaller ears than the other. Orange would be good too with the purple. So we're going to now put some inks in. And then we're going to be covering it up with some white paint. And I think then we go back and uh, then we paint this in and then we scratch it off. And then we'll have just some of the inks left. You can, you can do this. Well, as far as the shapes and the inks, you don't have to do it on a wood board. Obviously, you could do that any kind of substrate. So, but you can't do wood burning tool. That was fun. African elephants have the bigger ears. Okay.
I'm gonna put some on the sides too. Grab green. Just to add another color. I hear the kids outside. Okay, next. Next we're gonna do is we're gonna dry it and then we're going to add white. White paint, just nothing magical. Okay, let me dry this. Bye Norma. Okay, let's put, get some white heavy body paint on here. <laughs> Do y'all see what I just did? <laughs> I put my brush in my dog dog pepper. <laughs> oh, Lordy. <laughs> <laughs> so I drink out of mason jars, right? So that was easy to do. <laughs> I like looked over and I'm like, crap. Luckily, that was almost empty. <laughs> there wasn't much in there. I've been mad had up in like a full bottle or full cup of it. Okay, so now we're going to do, we're going to cover this up with white paint.
Did you get in trouble? Did you get in trouble? Did you bark at people again? Yeah, yeah. You stinkers. Orange apparently wasn't dry yet. All right, I'm going to add a little bit more. Make sure I get this covered up. She might have used a little better, different acrylic paint that covered a little bit more. I won't be able to scratch into it and make a cool texture if it's already all showing. I'm just going to add another coat on top. Okay, so next is I think we're going to outline the elephant and let's see. We're going to start drawing some lines and <laughs> start adding some color details. Um, to our elephant to make it colorful and whimsical. So he's pretty whimsical already being purple, but I need to put back part of his trunk. It's kind of disappeared as well. <laughs> I have a purple, I have a purple mammoth going on here. He's pretty whimsical. <laughs> okay, where's the lid for this? Let me try this just a little bit so I lay my arm in it. Yeah, it's like scratch art. Yeah. I think it's just to add some texture and interest. And I mean, if you're working on wood, you can do the scratches and stuff, but you can't. Well, you guess you can achieve it on uh, paper and stuff, but this is just easier. Although my color is still showing too. I think her is covered better. I still think I might need another coat. Either because my ink wasn't dry or my or the paint just not covering. Hold on. 
still feel like I need another coat up here. That blue is hard to cover. Sorry, guys. Maybe I should have used gesso. Maybe that would have worked better instead of white paint. Too late now. Uh, the paint keeps soaking through. Excuse me. Jean's coughs must have caught it over the uh, on Tuesday from her. <coughs> Hold on, I'll get a drink. We're putting white over the collars because after we add collars to the elephant, we're going to go back in and we're going to sand back the white to expose only some of the collar around the elephant. And then, we're, then we'll use a cloth to get the dust away until we achieve like a distressed look around the elephant. <clears throat> All right, where's my crayon? There it is. Okay. I need... mouse yeah i think it's neat it just have that like just scratch the scratches excuse me that we originally put in and then there'll be more scratches on top of that It's going to be his tusk. I can, because I'm proud about them having tusk. They kind of make, okay, here. It says whimsical. It's not, uh, I can, you know, it is whimsical. So keep that in mind. <laughs> ah, it's whimsical. I pretend that's his mouth. He's a funky looking elephant, but I forgot about Tusk. I wasn't even thinking about that. I'm looking at image online. I ain't thinking about that. Their mouth just kind of droops open on it. Okay, so he goes down. He is like flat feet. Okay. Having to cheat a little bit and look at an image online, so looks somewhat normal. <laughs> Did I say somewhat? I mean somewhat. I'll show you a, um, she also did a um, bird image. She shows um, that she did another one, and she did a really funky, cool, like, bird, whimsical bird image. I'll show you that one. That she was using example of um, just other, um, other ideas you can do. 
Use your imagination, people. This is not, I think I like Lena's elephant a little bit better. Oh, their bellies are not quite, I guess their bellies are, actually their bellies more go like this. Okay. So what I would like to do to my elephant is I would like to stamp on my elephant. I'm going to go back to my room so I can see. <laughs> I don't know, Eileen. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't like to stamp on mine. I have no idea what caused me to cough all of a sudden. Hold on. <coughs> <laughs> I got the gimpy. <laughs> oh, y'all are killing me. That in my cough all of a sudden came out of nowhere. I've not coughed all day. Okay. So I'm going to stamp on here. Because it's got these new stamps that I think it look cool. <laughs> Hi, Debbie. I'm adding texture to it. We are working from this Debbie Paint, Play, and Explore book, okay? And we're working on this technique, finding patterns that don't exist. And I did on the wood. We already did some wood burning, some ink, some cover-up. Now we're adding some details to it. And it smells really funky, too, let me tell you guys. Uh, that's why I'm coughing. If you had smell of vision you would know. You would know. It, it definitely smells a little, a wee bit funky. With uh, Maybe with that and covering it up with paint and stuff. Yeah. I want to add some gold leaf to my, to him. Okay. So let's see. Where's my purple at? I do want to add back in a little bit of his snout that I lost. Of course, it's changing colors, but. How, how I lost it along the way. Oh, well, that's why it's mixing with the black. I wasn't thinking about that. I lost his snout along the way. Nose, whatever you call it. There you go. Now, now he looks more like an elephant, sort of. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> sort of. <sighs> Uh, I'm buffering. Great. Okay. Great, not great.
I'm going to add some of the colors that we that are underneath the white paint um, to kind of tie it in when I scratch off that paint, uh, white paint, expose some of it. So I was going to add some of those colors we used up here. So it all makes sense. Have you done any of the projects from this book, Eileen? A lot of it is paper making. Uh, mark making on paper so you can, you know, make other stuff with it. And some of this I was like, well, I don't know if it's streamable or, or not. So that's why I ended up um, going with this one because I wasn't sure it was streamable. I didn't know if, if how many would be interested in that. Not that you wouldn't necessarily make an elephant either, but you know, it's what it, it's what the muse said, right? Is the muse? All right, is that is what it is. All right, I'm liking the orange and this purple. I actually really like that. Circus peanuts. There you go. Mm, circus peanuts. That would be good. Tom loves circus peanuts. I know he likes those. I don't like them. They're like marsh orange marshmallow stuff. He likes those. I keep bringing that, that back in, disappears. I bring it back, disappears. She need papyrus foot back too. I'm like, all right. Hey, that has to stay. All right, so I'm going to add some blue now. That was also uh, up in here was the blue. I was going to. I get my paint pen working. Here we go. I don't know if I can show up on this purple or not. We'll try. If not, we'll switch colors. Shows up a little bit, not a great ton, that's for sure. But I don't think I have a darker one as far as paint markers go. This is fun, I have to admit, so far, considering where a star it is, an ink, a messy ink blob that resembled an elephant to this. Not too bad, actually. Um, I would say, like, watching the classes that I've been watching, um, I got through watching this week, is that she shows you how to do mark making and how to make something, but at the same time, She's teaching you um, how to make it your own at the same time and how not just to duplicate her, but to also make it your own, which it, ugh, I quit laying my arm and that's why I have to keep redoing it, um, which is, 
which is kind of cool because she shows you the different techniques and all the layers, but then at the same time, there's no way you could duplicate exactly what she's doing, but you're learning at the same time. And then, um, so you're making it your own and you're learning without just, I don't mind duplicating either because I learn also by duplicating um, art as well. So, but uh, it took me a long time to get, there's a lot of videos in that class. I sat there watching that. It seemed like all week, every morning, all week. Oh, thank you. Is Devin here? Hi, Julie. Yeah, I mean, exactly. There's like a, she, she'll, uh, she makes like the, she makes a lot of art out of, out of them. And it's really neat, the process uh, of watching. I, I'm actually, now I've watched all the videos and I know the outcome. Um, I'm ready to actually start make, working through that class. But I wanted to actually watch the entire class before. Sometimes I would just play along, but I decided to watch the entire class before I uh, do the class. So I kind of have a better understanding of it. So it took me a week to get through it. So when I do make some stuff from her class, I'll be sure to show it to you. I signed up for it forever ago. I just hadn't, I just haven't done it. And then we signed, uh, Eileen and I signed up for the, the pocket journals, which she's made a couple. Oh, yeah, Eileen, I haven't um, done a look at the class yet. And so today I went to access the class and look at it to finally uh, maybe I was going to actually see if I could how hard it was going to be. And maybe I could actually make one and then we could play in that tonight. And I think I couldn't get access to the class. I was so mad. I could not, my email stuff's not working or something's not working or the password or something. So I was not able to get access to class. So I'm waiting to hear back. So I was super frustrated with that because I hadn't watched it yet. I've been kind of busy. So my goal was, oh, maybe I'll do some of that today. That didn't work out. They kicked me out, apparently. Like, yeah, she's trouble. At the time, I draw the chunk back in, see if I cannot lay my arm in it this time. 
Keep playing my arm, man, like a dummy. Yeah, I did. I have. I did watch it. I have again. I watched it, but I haven't done it. Um, I love it. I love this class. And that lady Eileen that um is teaching that class, Karen. Um, oh, she her name Karen. 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 Karen Wine. W Y N N E. She has um, um, I actually take I actually signed up for a class which I haven't completed yet. Is I signed up for oil. I know that Vaughn likes this uh, uh, oil pastel class. And you make uh, oil pastel flowers. And I have I take I signed up for that class couple months ago it's kelly k-e-l-e-e -E -E w-y-n-n-e -N -N -E. and she also has starting in june a monthly class and you can i think it's i think it might be 26 dollars but like you'll get like just like classes monthly from her and the sign up starts to 26 it's called something in colors or, or um, painting in colors. I can't remember what the name of it is. But if you go to Karen Kelly, I'm sorry, Kelly Wine Studios uh, website, you'll see it. She has a monthly class and she has a oil pastel class that Vaughn might be interested in taking some time. Just since I know she's here, she likes oil pastels too and oils in general so yeah she's uh she's gonna have different artist teaching so that way i think you don't get burned out or whatever she goes into on our website starts sometime in june i, I think it was a i don't i'm not sure exactly mid-june or whatever so if you're interested you or you want to go check it out i would check it out She's really a uh, talented lady. Um, I like her teaching style. Um, so I bought yeah, check out her classes and her monthly class she has. I picked up the Portugal um, wrapping paper she used for uh, inspiration for carving the for the stamp carving, like she was carving these designs. Yeah, so I did pick this up from Amazon for that class. Here's the shiny one. So it's like a doll version, a shiny version. Uh, like, a, 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 you know, I mean, shiny versus. Yeah. And this is what she's the uh, inspiration for the stamp carving that you do. So she got from here. And I found that on Amazon. That's a she where she got her inspiration from. Um, and of course, while I was at Amazon looking at um, all this gift paper realm, which I've never actually like really looked at before. Look at this. So pretty. Right? Let me hold my, let me raise up my camera. And it's it a little bit there. You see the whole page? <laughs> You're an 
not going to Amazon. <laughs> it is so pretty. Once you hit you start searching for um, gift and creative papers on Amazon. There's so many. There's so many cool ones. I wanted a thousand of them. I didn't get all thousand I wanted. But I will probably eventually get a lot of them. But, you know, you only got so much you can do. This one I got is Natural History. All the butterflies <laughs> with these like la 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 eyes closed. <laughs> hey, I might there's bugs for Joycey. You stick bugs up your nose. All right. <laughs> Mushrooms. Don't look, Janet. They're shrooms. I am going to use these to collage. I sure am, Devin. Fruit. I don't know if I'm going to be using fruit to collage too often, but kind of get along to get the shrooms. You got fruits and vegetables, too. Uh, animals. Oh, and look at the birds and feathers. I love feathers. Yeah. Uh, shell. So if I do any more... Um, I do any more C ones. <sighs> Hi, Josie. Thank you. Eileen posted the link. If you sent uh, the, um, if I do any more mermaid things from the Marlene die cuts, <laughs> someone remind me I have seashells. I have seashells in this book. That I could use if I do like a beach mermaid thing again. Look at all these seashells and jellyfish and starfish and stuff. <coughs> Remind me I have this because I'll probably forget. <coughs> Excuse me. God, I did not start coughing. I swear it off. I also picked up this paper. It has a kind of Portugal style as well. And I picked up this as well, which I thought is really pretty. And I may even, this would actually look kind of pretty and kind of cool with my elephant, to be honest. Oh, there's my gut hanging over the table. I gotta watch that. Okay. It's like that is not pretty to look at. Yeah, so there's, it's super pretty paper. This is called Spice Market Kit, and that's a paper company. I actually have a website, too, but I bought this on Amazon. <laughs> what did I not pick up? Um, there's probably, there was one on Space and stars and planets. I wanted the planet one. Um, there were some uh, bird ones, bird papers I wanted. But this reminded me of similar to the Portugal designs where she talked about it needed to be like the same on the ends and the middle. So when you cut it in half, it's, it's the same. Um, she went over that in, in the class. So these are like tile designs. Yeah, it's really pretty. I never even knew about this till till the Wonderlust class. I really love this one because it's got all the turquoises, of course. I love turquoise. It's like this would look really cool too. Anyway. Now I've taught enough. It should be mostly dry. So what's the next step?
Thanks, Sharon. <clears throat> oh, yeah, they have maps. See how many there are, Janet, Eileen? There's maps or the, um, you know, if you want to do space or, oh, my God. When you start looking at all those papers that you're like, oh, my God, like, how did I not know these existed, right? All right. So kind of did the details. Did that. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to start scratching off. So and exposing that and then I need to have a soft cloth and then we're going to add some alcohol inks. Okay, it's time, almost time to sand. Now, do I want to add a little bit of gold to my elephant? That's what I got, I have over here. I'm trying to decide if I want to add a little bit of gold. Just, let's see. I could do that. I have to let it get tacky, like to put the glue on and then like let it get tacky and then I can add the gold after that. Ugh, it's making me mad to keep having to add it back in because I lost it. I keep layering it over and over. Maybe it starts staying. Okay. Let's see how long this takes to dry. I okay, shake, put a thin coat on with the brush. Oh, I can't use that. Okay, that takes 30 minutes. Never mind. I would have had to done this before the stream. We will not do that today. We will use that another day. All right. The sandpaper and a soft cloth. I'm going to stay away from this since that's still drying. I'll start over here. She said to like wrap it like around your, I guess your finger and then, I don't know. I'm just going to. But I might need coarser paper. Hold on. It's all very good. Okay, this paper is a, it's a little coarser. That's a good point. I could do that at the end, Devin, when I'm done, and then add it. Because I think I want to add a little bit of gold, like, um, on the elephant, just for, I think it'll look good with the purple. with it. Oh. Cart and then just and then just keep it there and then think about it make sure I want it and then or waste all the money that's what I do because otherwise it's, I mean you put in a card it's like a so you don't forget I do that all the time
Yeah, I'm scratching it, Josie, to reveal just a part of the background. There is some blue ink um, underneath here, um, some orange and some and uh, a little bit of green. And you're supposed to scratch and reveal just some of it and leave some of it. And when we first started it, we actually put gesso, sanded it, and then put gesso, clear gesso, sanded it. And that was from the beginning. And because, like, with that, if you look, oh, it's just still looks wet, but I think it's just heavy there. If you look close, you'll see the texture in the ink. See all the scratches? So that was from the original where we did gesso, clear gesso, scratched it, clear gesso, scratched it, and it left all these cool scratches. And then we went in, I went in with a wood burning tool and did that part. Then we added inks and then white paint. And now we're going to scratch off part of it and leave part of it. So that way, this image is the focal point, but then I guess this is not so busy that it takes away from it, you know, but it just uh, is, is adds, you know, just kind of adds to it, but doesn't take away from it. Wow, this is hard to do. I will tell you, I may have Tom come up and sand it. <laughs> This is hard to do. <laughs> maybe, maybe I shouldn't have put as many coats as I did. What was it? Three coats? This is harder than I thought it would be. Trying to stay away from that, letting that dry. There was some green over here. Well, you get an arm workout. <laughs> exactly, I definitely need a Dremel. But you can see it's starting to come through though. You see the the colors starting to come through. It's working. It's just it's just not it's not speedy. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's sticker books to match it. The papers? Are you kidding me, Wendy? I missed that. Ah, now I have to look at sticker books. You maybe coordinate with the papers. I totally didn't see that. Oh, and Janet didn't either. <laughs> Go back and look. Oh, man. I didn't see the sticker book. I just was like amazed that I had not discovered the, this, this cool paper. Like, how did I not know that existed? I mean, it's different. It's wrapping paper, but you can totally collage with it. And it's such a neat idea because the sheets actually, um, let me pull one of them out. So you can see how big they get and give my hand a break here. Um, kind of dust it that way away from the wet ink. Let's see how big. I'll show you. Don't want to get in the ink again. Let me open one of these up. I'll take the bug one out. See, so you have a little perforated edge, so I just tore it out. Let's see. It's big. Ooh, it's big. That's a pretty big sheet. So, like this alone. Look how many bugs you could cut out. Holy moly. And there's not a lot of duplicates. I mean, like, they're, they're, I guess each little corner 
No, this is one a pattern. This is one pattern, and this is the same pattern. So it's only repeated twice. Look at the leaf bug. So it's like this is all different, and this is the duplicate, but this huge. We can add a bug to our elephant. <sighs> no. <laughs> Let's see, we could add a butterfly. Let's see if there's a purple one. Let's see. Let's just see. Let's see. Is there a purple? I mean, why is it green? Yeah, you could definitely make journal covers with these, collage with these. You could just photocopy these and keep reusing them if you didn't want to cut off the paper. You could photocopy them and then use them over and over and over. Here, I like this one. You can make cards with these, journal covers, mix, just mixed media collage. There's so many things you could do with these. And I actually use it to wrap a present, but <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no, can't do that. So we can add that on our. I'm stalling Sandy. I'm going to draw the antennas back on, so I don't have to I don't want to draw, cut around that. Not that much of a fussy cutter. have it hanging on the hanging on the flower like that we could do that leave it there and think about it back to sanding off my butterfly. I'll bring it back. Sorry. I'll bring it back. It's on the floor. <laughs> Making progress. So what's interesting is I'm actually seeing the original pink that was down all over the place and the blue. I'm actually seeing the blue, the pink, some of the pink that was all over the thing coming through too. Darling went back for the stickers. <laughs> Standing with Colleen. Meanwhile, standing with Colleen. <laughs> okay, Wendy says my sandpaper. This is thicker than my other one. We said I also have. I'm 
chat. I'm sanding away and missing chat. <laughs> She's being good. Eileen says she's being good. She's not shopping. These things are ancient. They're like fingernail file things I bought. Also, I found this. Do you remember these? Like these little pointy sharpeners for like the edges of stuff. I used to, we do this to our things. Does anyone remember this? This was in and scrapbooking like forever ago. And you would use these on your edges and stuff. I was in my sandpaper stuff. go ask my husband to go find me some sandpaper <laughs> I'm sure he has sandpaper probably where I stole this from was from him so this is working good X's and O's up here somewhere. Prima tools. Oh, yeah. I got the other thing. Where is that? But yeah. Why not? This would work. Got this too. Which one is it? This side? Good idea, Joyce. I find a use for the Prima tool. Cool. Well, I know the title of this should be Never Give Up. <laughs> keep on, keep on, keep on, never give up. Sand, sand, use everything you have in your arsenal. sandpaper than what I'm using, you would have better luck. And you also just might be stronger than me too. So
but it actually is making it look real this is a lot of work but i'm telling you this is really cool though it's like you can't get this effect with or you all saw what it looked like when i just had the inks around it right so like this really is neat i mean since you're working with wood you know it's like why not like do some scratchy stuff and burning stuff and just take advantage of the of what you're using it's a cool idea this is fun i like it i don't i mean it's turning out really neat like it's worth the work this prima tool this is doing really good it is working better than the sandpaper You have a pedicure, what, like a, a pedicure sandy thing? Hmm. go a different direction. Writing the date on my stencil. I actually have a oh, like a elephant, um, Donna Downey elephant um, mask. I actually have an elephant stamp too. But the idea is that we we just created it out of the image that that we saw and appeared so it's not supposed to be an exact science but but yeah could have used that i'm actually just gonna scratch a little bit on my elephant too all right And some of the original colors there, but then like, um, then you see the blue, but because of mixing, it turned like a peach. Yeah, this this is finally a useful tool. Thanks, Joycey. I forgot I had this. So you tried it for something else that didn't work. Ah, who knew? It actually works. Yeah, I got some sort of sanding thing here, and uh, I don't know what the heck that is. I guess. And the side edge. Things old. Okay. So all that's done. So now we're going to go in and we're going to add some alcohol inks. And again, I got to keep re-adding his nose in because it keeps disappearing. One of these days, it's going to stop disappearing. I'm going to mix it with a little bit. I get some purple paint, but it's going to not match. So I'm trying to... Why it keeps disappearing? Drive me nuts, because without that, you can't tell it's an elephant. Okay. Next step. Okay, so you can see what hers looks like. I could scratch on a little bit more. 
let's see, rotate a bit of additional color. Add a few drops of alcohol blending solution to an area of your panel. Once dripped, the solution will be difficult to see. Be sure to focus on the area in which to add color. Working quickly so the blending solution does not dry, add a few drops of alcohol in the same area where you drip the solution. Let the ink move and pull on its own within the solution, creating a second whatever in the artwork. Okay, so this one is an example in the book. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to look and see if there is. There. Oh, there might be tools in. I totally forgot about that. New technique drawing as an artist, a new creation explorer, rewarded. Test your skills, imagination, patterns outside of the zone. So this one she's showing where she had a, she looked like an image of a bird to her. And that's what she created. Now, the last thing you're supposed to do after the alcohol ink is do some details, um, like uh, over several of the layers, over the sanded areas where you go in and add like paint, uh, what's it say, ink tints, opaque, ooh, ink tints. Metallic pens, ink tents. Hmm. I haven't used those forever. Why are we using ink tents? Oh. Okay. Let's see. Oh, look. It's a scratchy tool. I've used it before. There's blue stuff on it. I didn't remember it being in there. I've had this tool for years. Literally years. It's a scratchy tool like Tim Holtz. Who knew? Joycey knew. Like what the kind of work that Ray does is she is she builds layers. So she covers up and then puts something on and then covers up and part of it and puts something on. So a lot like Paula used to do, like Paula used to do layer after layer and do like a lot of covering up. It's kind of like that. She does that as well in her work. ink do we want to add? I have some solution. Green, turquoise, or yellow. Yeah, right. Yeah, ran out of <laughs> alcohol inks. Good one. Good one. 
Well, they're way better than that one brand of alcohol inks. And of course, I really like the Bria Reese inks. I really like this. They are at Hobby Lobby and they're really good inks. They're definitely good, uh, as good and comparable to Tim Holtz for sure. Hold on. This is silver. I'm blind. Hold on. Oh, why I thought that. I thought I had a small bottle of her her version of the of the alcohol stuff. Maybe not. Maybe in Raymond. I thought I had. I swore I had like. Her version of a bottle. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? I don't know. I'm looking. Looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. Maybe not. Now it's sparkly. Yellow and turquoise would be nice. All right, Joycey, I'll trust you. But not to mix together. <laughs> oh, okay. Ugh. Hold on. Ah, geez. That was hard to open. All right, so we're going to... See, I'm liking that silver that I accidentally mixed in there, actually. Y'all can see, like, uh, I don't know if you can see the sparkle. Here, you can kind of see the sparkle. It's not just wet. There's actually some silver. Keep it off his tail. Yeah, it's kind of neat. I mean, it's actually surprising. Like, I guess you got to use the solution to get it to move across all this um, inks and stuff that's on here. Yeah, that's fun. And I really like this. I really like this. Throw that in there. I like the silver. Actually, yeah, I really like that. I like that added sparkle among, amongst all the, the scratchiness, you know, where we, we scratched it all, making this rough surface, and then and I used uh, the silver by accident, and I really like this accident because I'll oh, good night, Dot. Yeah, I am avoiding keeping, I am getting it off the, I did a, get it off the elephant. 
but I think it's kind of neat to add to have Sheen with the scratchy doll. Like it's a, I don't know. I don't know why I like it. I just do. I think it's kind of cool. Um, so some yellow down here at the bottom. Just to see Joyce's. That looks good. I like the yellow too, Joyce. So it kind of brings out some of the, I like this because it brings out some of the, the scratchiness that, you know, the wood burning stuff we put down in here. Yeah, I like that. The yellow gives it that. It's a, with all these cool colors, this is adding like a warm color and uh, it needed it. I like that, Joyce. Because I have all cool colors. Because I always gravitate gravitate to the cool colors. So I really do actually like that. Okay. Having a bad dream, Smokey. Oh, honey. Come here. Okay. Okay. What's going on, guys? My dog will eat. Bye. Yeah, don't worry. He's got allergies and stuff going on. And then he uh, wakes up sometimes, like, cough, like, uh, sniffly coffee. And, and also, like, licking themselves a ton. No matter how much bat I give them baths and their special shampoo and brush them and stuff, but they're still like they're itchy and they start getting those summer allergies and and then he gets like he gets a kind of coffee and scares him when it happens. He's okay. You're okay. You're okay. Yeah, I was coughing too earlier. I would have never thought to do, uh, to mix all these things. I can tell you that. I would never thought to do all these combinations of media. And it looks really good. Okay. So the next was to uh, go in and... To go in and add uh, doodles and lines, and if you want to add clearing up any of the background, like she, um, it's like she might have used ink tints, which we know how much we know how much Eileen likes ink tints. Now, well, one of the things I picked up allergy pill every day. Yeah, the allergies is rough. They they get the uh, itching and really bad, and it just, it, it sucks. I know, Eileen loves ink tents, which is what she mentioned using. Now, I can't use a heat gun on this. Like, I just got to kind of let it dry. Um, but what I was thinking is I picked up these letters, which were out forever ago, like the plastic letters that you can... Uh, you can use the alcohol inks on. Anyway. Right, so we could do a couple alcohol inks. So we can do some, 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 well, they're big letters. So it's going to have to be, we're going to have to limit it to, to a word or whatever. So, and then we'll use some alcohol inks and maybe we'll we'll layer that on here. Let's see. Let's find a purple. Yeah. 
or I could use the purple here that I used on the other to coordinate with it because this is more of a grapey, pinky purple, which is grapey. <laughs> I do, right, CB? I mixed, uh, I, I found these and I was like, these are, been, it was out so long ago, but they're fun to, to alcohol ink. Okay, help me think of a word. Um, let's see. I can't do the name by any means. I don't know what I want to put on here. It's a cool. What laundry? You don't need clean clothes. Let's go buy some more. You don't need food to eat. <laughs> Trying to find an L. Well, I guess it could be L or an I. Let's see if I find it. An L. We could use an I. We need an A. We'll just use the word play. I can't think of any words I want to put on here. I just want to use my, I just want to alcohol ink these letters and play with that. Here's a Y. Oh, here we go. I'll do it vertical. Play. Ellie play. How about the words just art? Ooh, here we go. We will do this. We could do art across from that A, like a kind of R. I would love if we all lived by each other, could art all the time together. It'd be so fun. Wouldn't have to art alone. Uh, it's got to be an R here. I'm just not seeing it. There. No, it's a J. Sorry. It's not easy to... I haven't used it yet. There's got to be an R. Come on. Right, right in front of me and I don't see it. Sorry, people watching the recording. Just fast forward. Goodness sake, Smokies. Okay, baby. Oh my gosh, I can't find an R. I'm gonna lose my mind. Why did you tell me to do art? I can't find an R. Oh, so it's all Devin's fault. He's having a kind of a coffee thing happening here. Poor baby. Oh, poor Toki. R. Oh, my God, y'all. I can't find an R. I'm going to lose my mind. There's got to be an R here. Ugh. If it's missing an R, I'm going to scream. <laughs> I know, and now you said it. It's like there's got to be an R, right? At least one. Do you watch, you know, you watch Jeopardy? <laughs> you, would do, you would say a, a final one, you'd be an R. 
Okay, I guess I'm just gonna do play because I can't not find an art. The word art, I can't find an R to do it. I give up. So weird. Maybe it's missing it. Maybe I'm not nuts. Oh, it'd be fun if I could done art, like, you know, um, an RT be art play. Like, actually, I really like that idea. If I had an R, if I only had an R. And I could do stamping or whatever, but I'm just trying to have fun in alcohol ink. These little letters. I'll find it. If I find an R after I'm done streaming, I'll add it. Let's put it that way. Apparently, I'm not to look later, so I'm not seeing it. Am I crazy? Is it not there? Okay, so let's put this down on my mat. Let's put some inks on it. Actually, that. We can't use this. That's acrylic ink. Is that going to look good? I don't know if that's going to look good or not. Yeah, I'd be, all right. I'd be okay. Honey. Where I wish I, I need to go get my little dauber spongy thingies instead of my fingers, but oh well. <laughs> Make an A B into an R. I will let those dry while I search one last time. <laughs> God. I think things never run as smooth as what I would like ever in my streams. I guess sort of because I wing part of it and change things. That's kind of my fault. Oh, no, purple J won't get out of there. Okay. Now I'll see another A. Wait a minute. This would be an A. I'm making a okay, an A and a B and two a B. Watch me, I have a damn B. <laughs> Watch me, not have a B. Ah! Oh my God! Seriously, is there not a B? Oh, B. Okay, A, B. Okay, A, B into an R. How do I do that? Okay. <laughs> Abba on it. I could just A, B, just B. <laughs> A, B, B. So it'd be like, so like I'm going to steal part of the A off, like a, I give it a, I could do like this. I could use this and this to make an R. Why is there not an R? So strange. Now do I have a darn team? I got to make a T. The set is not as cool as I thought if I don't have all the things. 
Do I have an actual tea or am I going to have to make a tea? I can make a tea. Let's see if I can actually find a tea. Oh my gosh, I can't find a T. Oh my gosh, is it like not meant to be or what? It's so weird. It's just not meant to be. I can't find a T. OMG, you're going to have to make a T as well. So strange. Okay, I'm going to have to rig up a T. We can do that at least. I could use, um, I could use glue dots. I'll, I could use glue dots on them. Make a K into an R. <laughs> Devin, look what you started. <laughs> Lowercase R next to color red. Make a K into an R. <laughs> You guys saw an R? Why am I not seeing it? Lord. E F U F O F O. <laughs> uh, a T thing. <laughs> J. Here's a K. And as an X. <laughs> G eight. O U. <laughs> oh my God. There's no K's. <laughs> Someone stole all the K's, R's, T's. <laughs> this is not real. This set is janky. H, yeah, there's no K. There's an O, uh, there's an X. Wow. I give up. Oh, is that an R? Holy moly. Is this, a, this might be a funky looking R right there. Oh, Lord. Okay, now, where's the damn T? The R is just weird. The R is just really strange. There's the R. That might be the T. It looks like a cross. Or we can make it one. I mean, it's a plus sign, but it, it's close. Wow, this is the hardest part of my entire project is trying to find damn letters. Like, how does that work in this world? Like... You do, I do all this weird stuff, and I get down, and I add letters, and then I can't find the letters I want. Or Devin wants. Haha, we'll blame it on Devin. <laughs> There's a straight set of letters. That's an R. Like, that's really weird. And that, to me, looks like a plus, but, our, but we're going to make it, we're going to have it be a T, I think. <laughs> this is a strange, yeah, it's definitely a strange um, font where you can't even tell what it is. Like, if you can't tell what it is, should this really be a font? I'm going to use this. Cause I, or, or I make a T. The 
then it's bigger than the R, so I might just use that. I don't know, cross won't be bad. Cross plus T, whatever, whatever you look, read into it. I'll say whatever anyone else sees. I'll make it a little bit darker if I add that. Or <laughs> ROCK in the USA. <laughs> Rock you. <laughs> oh, it might be a lowercase x. Like, what is this? Oh, damn, there's another funky R. Is there a damn T? It's got to be a T. Why to be something weird looking? I don't like this font. We're going to tell Heidi Swap. This sucks. This is terrible when you can't identify what you're looking at. Oh well. That's what it's going to become so I don't see it. Is that an S? Oh my god. That's an S? Like this is normal, right? It's a U. Looks like a U. It's easy to tell to you. I don't know. This is just straight. Don't know. So why? Like some of these are really obvious. A C, a B, could be a P. And then you have weird, you know, a Z, that's really obvious. So it looks like the capitals are easier to identify than the small ones. So but I just still don't see a capital R. I'm gonna get thumbs down. I'm sorry, people. Fast forward, fast forward to the recording. I know you're bored. I would fast forward if I was watching this video right now, too. I'll be honest. <laughs> fast forward. I give up. Okay. Um, how can I dry these? It's going to take forever. How can I dry these? I have to get my blow, uh, the, um, can I glue them wet? How am I going to get these dry? I'm getting really bored. Yeah, I'm even bored. This is my stream and I'm bored. Yeah, when you're boring, you're when you're boring yourself, you're like, this is bad. Yeah, I'm even bored. I mean, it should not be, it should not be this hard to find letters. I just thought, oh, this would be cute. This would be perfect to do some little alcohol. Yeah, you know, since we got the alcohol ink out, we'll do some letters, and then it turned into a nightmare. Okay, so let's do. The other thing she mentioned in here. Let's go around. Remember, I was going to add the gold foil. Let's just go around with some, um, see if we can make some little, some little doodles and stuff. Let's see what we can do. Why this dry is silly. And God, it's going to take forever. Oh, we wait for that to dry. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. <laughs> hey, you know what we need? We need uh, Jamie to do her inter uh, intermission interlude or whatever she does. 
That's what we need. We need Jamie to, to do her, uh, what's her, uh, what's she, what does she call it? Interlude, intermission, interlude, she'd sing. special you're not bored good for well I'm glad you're not bored I'm bored because trying to find those letters bored aggravated uh, you name it that's terrible I know why that was a Tuesday mornings now Some things that go Tuesday mornings, I think, are just because new stuff has come in and stores want to, you know, get rid of their old stuff. That was there because it was terrible. <laughs> no one was buying it. Unidentifiable letters. That's what that was. Wow, it's hard to do anything over that ink. I definitely have to use paint. I'm glad that I'm glad you think it's a comedy show. I like that. I aim to please. I need to do is get my I'll have to go get my um, blow dryer out of the bathroom and use the cool setting so I can so I can dry the letters because they're gonna be wet for a century. Good yeah, Lord, I can't get my pen to work. I can now spell party. Party. <laughs> draw, I could build, I could drop the L and do party. Oh my god. I didn't even realize that when I when I uh, pushed those down, I didn't even see that. That's funny. Does not want to go over the paint pen. It's working here, so I use it where I can use it. Where did it let me? This usually goes over everything, but it's definitely struggling. No, <laughs> works on my hand really good. Guess I'm picking. I'm scraping some of the stuff off and it's getting on the. I know my paint pen is not gonna. It's not gonna. I may have to actually use a. Oh, that'd be a nightmare if I got to do this with a paintbrush because it means I'm gonna have to be really neat. I don't want to do that. Well, this is not working, Janet. Why can't I get my white pen to work? I literally can't get my white pen to work there. I thought this would go, I guess it doesn't go over acrylics. <laughs> Plarty. 
Oh, great. Now she tells me that. Okay. See, this doesn't want to work either. I guess because it's ink and it's paint. Ugh, I want to use. Maybe that's why she was using the white china marker thing. Maybe that's why she was using this. How do I, don't I pull this to like, to get to it? How do I make it work? Is it this way? Yeah, that's why she was using a white china marker because it's the only thing that was going to go over it. How do I peel this? If I peel it from the top, it's not going to... Hold on. Got to be the way to peel this so you can use it. I'm going to try this if I can get this peeled off. Maybe that's why she was using this because nothing else is going over it. This is not the proper way, but I can't. I'm, I'm going to force it. <laughs> Good night, Sharon. Thanks for coming by. Oh, you're working on your journals? Uh, that's nice. All right, so you're fine tuning it. I I decided to leave it. I think. Yeah, this goes over all this. Oh, uh, this works over all these layers. Yeah, like the the pen's not working. I can't get. Yeah, I guess there's just so many layers of inks and paints, and you have to resort to wax. Wow, who knew? There's a lot of layers on here. Although with this, I can't really do any detailed stuff that I could done with the with the pen. You know what I mean? I'm very limited to. I I can only do chunky outlining. I can't do any little details with this thing because it's like it's a fat pen. The only thing that's going to work is if I use a little brush and, and go with a, a acrylic paint and a, mini, a little tiny brush. See, that's not even going over it there. Holy moly. Hmm. Well, do the best you can. <laughs> that's all I got to say. It looks okay, so I'm not going to worry about it. It looks all right. Where in the world was I supposed to use... Uh-oh. Did I put my arm in the A? Hold on. Where's my A? Freaking out. Y'all, I did my A. Oh my God. Uh, okay, I found it. Shoo! My like, crap, Ola. Oh, my R stuck to it. I'm like, this is, a, I'm like, shoo. I'm like, this is, you know, when you, it, this starts, yeah, this starts happening. It is not meant to be, man. I'm gluing these suckers down. You know they're still wet. 
before I lose them. Man, I work too hard for this shit. Yes, go on here. PL. God. Don't make me go looking for letters. That's terrible. I know I used to have other fonts, I think, that were clear a um, long time ago that I didn't keep wishing I would have kept. I think it, you were worried it wasn't enough ink, Eileen. I actually think it's okay. So, I'm not sure if glue is working or not. We'll see. Maybe I'll do it like I'll do it at an angle. Art. Oops. Because otherwise we're gonna go to run into his rear. All right, play art. This is fun. I mean, this is a challenging one. I would honestly say, I mean, from her book, I mean, we used a lot of different materials. I mean, I, I did the extra, like the stamping, and I did the plastic letters. Um, you know, I changed it up a little bit, but um, there was a lot of layers that went into this, you know what I mean? But I would honestly say that, I mean, it is pretty cool. I would not have uh, ever made anything like this. So, so even if the layers are driving me nuts and the letters, I'm still happy with how it turned out. So, and I'm gonna keep keep adding to the nose till it sticks. Is Lena still here? She falls asleep. <laughs> oh, the, my elephant, Lena's elephant. Okay, so I hold it up so everybody can see. Sparkle, sparkle. I said it just said it that all of her scratches burned into it. Alcohol ink. Regular inks. Sewing for his nose are forever dry. Um, yeah. Not too bad. I'm not going to bother with the ink tints or whatever. And the pens are not working. The gel pens are not working. So I am not even... It's just not working. And I'm sure the gold doesn't work either. Let's see. Oh, maybe. Maybe it's my white one. I don't think this is going to work. Let's try it. Hold on. Maybe I lied. Maybe it's just a white one. Let's see if we can get this to work. I don't use it that much that I'm worried if it wrecks it. Yeah, it's not working. I don't know how she got this to work. Ta da! We're gonna stop now before I lose my mind. <sighs> cool, Ellie. Is anyone else gonna try this? <laughs> <laughs> now what she did is actually um she used uh this is how hers close-up ended up um i'd say she had more paint and less white than me showing 
And I definitely think she was using um, probably like the crayon or whatever for sure, outlining it. But here, like she was going at the pen. I don't know, unless I don't know how she was able to pull that off. I have no idea how she was able to do that. That girl's like magic powers. I mean, I think you could go on here with an oil pastel um, over all these layers because that goes over anything for sure. Oh. I'm glad we did that. It was fun and aggravating at the same time and entertaining, right? And Wendy just figured out that it was an elephant. I'm so happy that she figured that out. Eileen, did you say you did you uh did you uh you did if you ever work out this book? It did turn out cute. It is a lot of work to try. This was this this is a lot of layers and a lot of work. I'll call that done. <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of her book is about uh, mark making. But this one is glue stick, paint. Oil sticks, heavy body paint. So you can see this one. Hey, we could try this one next time. And I think I have some smaller wooden frames. We can maybe try, maybe try to glue stick an oil pastel next time. I like the jelly plating that's in here. Thanks, Wendy. Yes, I was. I needed a. I needed a interlude song. I forgot how your interlude song goes. So I was. I was doing the Jeopardy song, but uh, yeah, I was needing uh, your interlude song. Thanks, Devin. Yeah, I think it's cute. She's like a boho, <laughs> boho elephant. And she is, and it is different than her. So I did make it my own. So I am happy that I made it my own. Rest of the book, she has things about resist. Um, using paint skins. Joycey would like this part here, using um, tissue paper for rings, um, using straw, look at my fingernails from this stuff, uh, using straws to make marks, credit cards. Um, looks like they, she used Plastic cords on a card, mascara wand, Q-tips, sponges, and clothes pens for mark making. And then the skin peels. I know Joyce likes that too. And I know she likes was more successful with the celery than me. So I think it's neat. Um, this is rolling like bubble wrap around toilet paper, rubber bands on a roll. So I think that's neat that there's some homemade alternatives in there. Oh, I never thought to use clothes pens. Yeah, the straw is a good idea. Paint, play, and explore by Ray. Miskin, Miskin, Miskimen. Oh, 
I don't know how to pronounce it. I just can't even begin. Does anyone know how to, to do the phonics of how to say it? Miskin? Miskin men. <laughs> I don't know. Does anyone know the phonics spelling so I don't look so stupid? Let's see. Let's try the straw marks. Actually, that, that's kind of interesting. I got some jelly prints over here. Google it. <laughs> Google it. It's a good idea. No one knows. I don't know how to pronounce her name. It sounds terrible. I just don't. I really like the glitter. That was my accidental boo-boo, was using the Bria Reese uh, Sparkle Alcohol Ink. That was kind of my, that was kind of the, the unexpected uh, accidental part that I really like. Okay, let's try... Oh, this is alcohol ink. I probably should be using the, sorry, what's he thinking? Regular ink. Hmm. How do you get it to stay on just the edge? It's not getting more than that. Tap it, tap it. That's weird. Okay. I'm getting like actual circle, not just a ring. Hmm. Let's do the alcohol ink. Huh. That's weird. How does she do that? Let's mix it with this. Make it more. I actually get a ring with the alcohol ink. But with this, there you go. Nope. Still getting like full like circles, like the inside of the straw and the ring. I don't know how you would consistently get the get the rim. Hmm. And this might be something you might want to practice on a piece of paper you don't care about. So I don't know how you get just a rim and and instead of the circle, it just might be luck. Just plain old luck. Oh, good night, Chada. Oh, Google said it out loud. I didn't know it could. I didn't know that. Okay, good night, Devin. <laughs> Nightmares about missing ours. <laughs> and tease. Maybe your finger needs to be on the open end so the pressure stays even. Oh. Oh, isn't she smart? Look at that. Jamie is, look at that, Jamie's right. If you put your finger over the back of this straw, it actually does, wow, genius he is. Look at that. Use some green. How did she figure that out? She's a smarty. Huh. <laughs> She's too smart for her own good. 
Yeah, hold your finger over it and you don't get the, but if you want this, don't hold your finger over it. Wow. Who knew? Oh, Jamie did. Oh. Wow. I can't believe that. The difference between putting your finger over the back. Wow. Clever. There you go. That mystery solved. Or if you don't, if you just, well, this is actually now working. Maybe I had too much ink. That's kind of fun. I mean, just think about if you wanted to make marks on your paper and you didn't know what to make. You know what I mean? You, this is super duper easy. Just use a straw. I like that. I mean, I know about the rubber bands and the uh, um, toilet paper rolls and that, but definitely never a straw. That's fun. You could do that all day. So you'd be like, doo, doo, doo. yeah, I like it. Hmm. Okay. So now everybody needs to buy some straws and some wrapping paper. And go watch Jamie's video so you can learn the interlude song. Who wanted one straws? Yeah. Thanks everybody for coming tonight. I appreciate it. Sorry, Ed drug out um to do parts of that was kind of challenging so as you saw and she goes through a lot of uh, making your own papers and stuff so if you're interested in make taking your gel like i think she has a lot of jelly printing and stuff in there too so if you're interested in and making marks and making your paper. Um, one of the things that she did I thought was neat, um, she used, um, it's not in a book, it was in a class, she used the uh, portfolios and then put paint over top of it and then scratched into it. It was really cool. Yeah, good night, Jamie. That's okay, thanks for popping in. Good night, Debbie. Good night, Eileen. Good night, Josie. Buttons. And anyone else I've missed? Thanks for coming tonight. Ah. Hope you enjoyed it. Is Wendy still here? Say good night to her, too. Good night. Good night, Linda. Thanks, Janet. See y'all on Twitter tomorrow.